All right, so this is one of the courses that is pretty close by me. It's Kariga Park's South Course in Alameda, California. So right, doing guys, a little bit of an uh, introduction for my buddy Dan Matz, who I've been playing a lot with lately. And here we go. <laughs> so on this first hole, All right, it's a sure. par five that dog legs out to the right. Let's go. And you'll notice um, where I go is actually where you have a set of bunkers. Right. Um, and so it's a risk reward play. Maybe? No, I sure. take the risk, no reward, but I take my four hybrid out and manage to get out of there with some pretty good distance. I take it 191 yards. Right. So from there, have a gap wedge in, hopefully onto the green. But I'm a little short. So now I have a putt from the fringe. And I put a little bit too much juice into it. Rolls about six feet, seven feet past the hole. And so I've got a long-ish putt for par. Oh, and I get it. So good start, par <laughs> on the first hole. Relatively short par four here. Take my drive route and hit the ground right before the ball here. So it doesn't go very far, but because it's a short par four, I don't really get punished for it. So you can actually take your two hybrid or three wood out over here if you want, and you'll have an easy look into the green. So after an eight iron, I have a look at birdie and just miss it. But after that initial shot off the tee box, I will happily take a par. So even through two. Now, this hole is another relatively short par four, and the one thing you need to watch out for is you have a water feature on the left. And that water feature is present throughout the course, and so you just gotta know where it, where it shows up, where it pops up. And in this case, I avoid it, which leaves me a pretty easy look into the green here. Um, but I leave it a little bit short here, so I have a long putt for birdie. And, and that thing goes blasting And I'm not going to show you the next two putts, but end up with the bogey. All right, so after that bogey, I'm trying to get back on track. So here's a par four that I'm hoping to at least par. And off the tee, I hit not my best drive. It's only 200 yards, draws one, and that's not really my natural shot shape. But I followed up with a pretty nice two hybrid. And here, I'm not sure yet if I'm on the green, so I'm tiptoeing, trying to see over that, but I am on. So here's my putt for birdie. And you know what? With that tee shot, again, I will settle for that par. So here's a short par three that you want to walk away with a par minimum. It's only 108 yards to the middle of the green. And in this case, I miss it a little bit left. Leave myself a really long lag putt, but pretty happy with it actually. Leave myself only maybe about three or four feet from the hole. So I have a nice little putt here for par. Yep. And I drain it. So plus one through five. All right, so on a par train here, so hoping for at least that on hole number six, which is par five. So a good drive to start out, and I take my two hybrid out for that uh, 200 plus shot, and you'll see me using that two hybrid quite a bit, and it's because my swing favors kind of hitting down on the ball rather than trying to sweep it off the ground like you would with a with a three wood or maybe Cars a five the wood. Only way to score today, so man. here I am. <laughs> On the green in regulation, I have putt. maybe about a 20 foot putt for birdie. And I'm gonna miss just right here. I feel like the golf gods kinda owe me. But I, leaves me in a position for another par. So I'm playing pretty well right now. I am plus one through six. Like my nine iron I will take that dog. any day of the week. So hole number seven, it's a par three, 163 yards. In this case, I take my five hybrid out and get it on. It's going right at the flag. Pretty happy with that. Nice, nice. Pretty really putt. Nice, nice. Coming really in. It, it looked like it was coming in a little hot at first, but Stress -free. ends up right by the flag. Boy. Very and nice. I am happy.
happy with yet another par. And at this point, you start thinking, ooh, this is going to be the round. And of course, yeah, you get the blow up hole as soon as you start thinking like that. So no. on hole number eight, it's a really short par four, and there's a lot of risk reward here. You can take out your driver. If I were you, and you're trying to score well, I would just take out something that gets you 200 yards in. Just to be short of the bunkers, in this case, on, uh, my bunker guard. shot, I actually lost the ball. So I end up taking a double on this hole. So of course, right? Plus one through, through seven and you start thinking. But now it's plus three through eight. One shot. Next. And on the ninth hole here, I shake off that double bogey with a pretty nice drive. Leave myself in a great position to approach the green, which I do. So I landed it on. So I leave myself a pretty long putt for birdie, but I just want to get it close, get it out of there with a par. Oh. And I almost oh, got out of there with a birdie. What a putt. All right, good for it. But again, I'll take the par. So plus three through nine. First time under 40 for me at 39. 39. Sweet. And so. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> Aww. First time under 40, feeling good about himself. Optimistic, hopeful. Man, you're looking at a guy whose dreams of breaking 80 are about to be crushed. So stay tuned. Thank you.